Krishna Hare Krishna Welcome to this very special episode of the Kartik Inspirations. We are looking at Vindavan as a dam or an effulgent spiritual place. This uh, dam is revealed through the Naam, the holy name of Krishna. Mm, as we know, everything is always perceived the way our mind is. Uh, so, uh, by purifying the mind through repeatedly chanting Krishna's holy name, we make it a perfect receptacle of a spiritual reality. Rupa Goswami has given us a very deep personal experience uh, of his own, uh, let us say, experience of the holy name by a verse that describes how the holy name enters into our heart. It takes a certain route. It first comes into the mouth, then from there it enters into our mind and takes the mind over by permeating it and then it comes into the courtyard of the heart. This is how he describes. I do not know how much nectar the two syllables Krishna have produced. When the holy name of Krishna is chanted, it appears to dance within the mouth. Yes, it comes on the tongue and there it uh, uh, creates great appreciation Among, amongst the twice-born ministers. There are 32 ministers in the mouth. They are called twice-born because uh, just like brahmanas, our teeth are first there when we are small, then they fall out and they come a second time as twice-born teeth. From there, he, the holy name goes into the mind and it becomes... Uh, something like water spinach. Water spinach has one quality. I learned this. It seeks to expand itself. And you have a lake and there's water spinach. Soon it will be everywhere on the entire surface of the lake. In the same way, the holy name, when chanted mm, respectfully and attentively, is becoming so sweet that our mind actually likes to do it. And from there, it comes into the heart like a sangini. That means a newly wedded wife. When a newly wedded wife first enters the house of her husband, she puts a different order in there. Some things will have to go, other things have to come in. So when the holy name is chanted with, uh, in the heart, some things have to go <laughs> that are no longer useful for our life and other things like love, respect towards Krishna, affection, uh, the quality to forgive, the quality to be f compassionate. All these come uh, in the wake, so to say, following the holy name and make our life sublime. sublime. Yes, uh, this is how the Nam purifies us so that our eyes uh, have a healthy vision, a spiritual vision, and we can see behind everything the uh, merciful hands of the Lord who arranges our lives. Thank you for being with us and mm, welcome um, for the next Kartik Inspiration. <laughs>